Hi, in this uh, lab activity, we will examine uh, a diabetic patient healthcare IoT solution. And the scenario, scenario uh, of this lab is uh, John Doe is a 55 years old Taiwan diabetic who lives alone. John has trouble keeping his glucose within a healthy range. He and his healthcare provider have decided to implement an IoT solution to continuously monitor important indicators of his condition and send help if necessary. John will wear a smartwatch to monitor his respiration and exercise level. This is John Hope and this is John's smartwatch. And John also use a continuous glucose monitor that will report his glucose levels. And all the data from the device will be sent to health monitoring company, HMC. We will send medical assistance should his condition become life-threatening. So this is the HMC with the two monitoring stations uh, to monitor the health of the patients uh, or uh, their client. And there is uh, two servers to store the data uh, of the patient, uh, the health data of the patients. And uh, this, uh, this center is designed uh, high availability with a connection to the ISP using the optical cable. And here is a cloud data storage services to, uh, uh, to store uh, the, the data of the patients online. Uh, and it is a MPTC, uh, the emergency car, uh, will be sent to Zone's home uh, in case of the, his life uh, threatening. And uh, it is a ISP, the ISP is closed not open it now firstly on part one we will configure devices for connectivity uh, uh, now uh, we will configure Jones router to use uh, DSCP to assign IP addresses to his IP enabled devices in his home this John home and this is a home gateway the home gateway uh, will be the DHCP server and uh, provide the dynamic IP address for uh, smart devices on his home. Uh, for example, the uh, smart watch, the smart TV, and uh, the implanted glucose meter. So I click on the home gateway and on the config, uh, configure tab. Uh, uh, the GUI, the GUI tab. Then uh, we will assign the IP address on the this range, uh, this IP address for uh, the router IP. And uh, one. Uh, with the subnet mask. And then we enable the DHCP server service and click on uh, safe setting. Safe setting here. And now we can click on the smart TV and check for the IP address of this one uh, default wireless zero static and DHCP and so this didn't receive the appropriate or the right IP address so we should check uh, the DHCP again the start IP address, for example, 10. Maximum number of user, 10. Save setting. 
and then check the smart TV. I click on the static and BSCP. As you can see, the smart TV received the IP address from the home gateway and the smart watch configure wireless. Oh, okay. And the glucose matter configure wireless. Yeah, okay. It uh, already has the IP address provided by the DSCP server or the, the home gateway. And you can see the home gateway connect to the cable provider and from the cable provider it connected to the ISP through the Corsio cable. And drone tablet uh, using uh, the cellular uh, transmission to the ISP and uh, the smartphone also using uh, the cellular network uh, to connect to the ISP. Now on part 2, we will explore all the IoT devices. Firstly, we will view drone fighters on an MPTC tablet. MPTC means the Mobile Patent Treatment Center. Uh, the medical staff in the MPTC can monitor drones level while they are traveling to drones home. The medical staff can also receive an unlock code to enter John's house if he's not responsive. Now I click on the MPTC and click on the any MPTC tablet to view the John's uh, status, uh, health status. As you can see, now the John's is uh, in the normal uh, status, and this is a time. And the, the name of John, the age, uh, and the, um, the history of the um, uh, diabetes, and the glucose level, the respiratory rate, and exercise level. Uh, so all the data uh, is collected uh, through uh, the uh, John's smartwatch and uh, John's uh, glucose meter and send uh, to the home gateway and send to the, the ISP and uh, uh, on the uh, and the MPTC is connected to the uh, ISP too. So on the tablet we can monitor uh, John uh, health status uh, when traveling to John home and. Uh, Next, we will view John Vital on his tablet and television uh, back to John's home. We can see uh, John can monitor uh, his health status uh, on his uh, smart TV. Uh, here, you can uh, click on the HG Mobile Monitoring Web application and uh, see the, the, the health status here. It's the same on the MPTC. I remember that I will use uh, the Packet Chaser version uh, 7.2.2. Uh, if you use uh, the higher version, maybe you uh, uh, cannot see the HC Mobile Monitoring Web application here. So uh, you should use version 7.2.2. Uh, and zone uh, also. Uh, can uh, monitor uh, his uh, health status on uh, the, his tablet. Uh, on this tablet, we also have the HC Mobile Mo app uh, and check for uh, the status of his health. Now on part 3, we will create an event that requires a response. Uh, we will trigger an event that will cause uh, John to require medical attention. Uh, firstly, we will explore the environment window. Uh, in the environment window, yeah, you can open it, environment window. Uh, we can influence uh, John glucose level. Uh, I open it. I uh, make it uh, wider. We can uh, influence John glucose level 
uh, when John glucose levels no longer in his normal range, the HMC will send John's alerts on his connected devices to prompt him to call them so that they can assess it, his condition and send medical help if necessary. Uh, we can induce hypoglycemia or induce hyperglycemia. Induce hypoglycemia means uh, reduce uh, Jones' blood sugar level to 50%, lower than usual. And induce hyperglycemia will rise Jones' blood sugar level to 100% higher than usual. And there is a button to restore John's normal levels. And the scenario is John has uh, finished a big meal at his family reunion at his house. He has neglected to take his insulin while he engaged uh, with his family. Now, I, uh, firstly, we will uh, monitor uh, his uh, health status on his uh, smartwatch. You can see the respiration rate is uh, 18 BMP and 21st or uh, 11, uh, 17 BMP and the SSI level is medium. Uh, now uh, we will induce hyperglycemia. Induce hyperglycemia. And we check on Jones smartwatch. This a uh, warning. The glucose level is very high, and John have to contact the health provider immediately, and failure to respond will dispatch the MPTC. So John have to contact the health provider immediately. Now I open the environment window and restore John's normal level and return to John's smartwatch. You can see the respiration rate is back to the normal uh, measure and the exercise level is medium. Now I induce a hypoglycemia and see the warning the glucose level is very low and John have to contact the health provider immediately and then we can restore John's normal level and the smartwatch uh, will display the normal state of John's health so that is all for the diabetic uh, health IoT solution to monitoring uh, the patient's uh, health status and send the message back to their uh, smart devices to alert them to contact to the health uh, uh, medical center immediately when they have uh, the, uh, the measure of their health uh, um, lower or higher than usual. Uh, that's it all for this live activity. Thanks for watching.